keeping a 50, 60-year-old car running, sometimes 70 years old, on the bumpiest track that we visit yeah. all year long after this long off season That's a challenge. is really tough to do. And now look for Travis Engen and uh, Rob Banks to go at it. Here they come into Sunset Ben here at Sebring. The pace car has left the track and we are under race conditions and we will accelerate away to begin this race. At the back is Greg Newcomer. And uh, here they come down the main straight, the breeze coming from right to left. And away they go. This is their first feature race. A little we'll bit have of a drag race. Yeah. Rob Banks ducks right behind Travis Engen. Another Lotus 23B, but John Nash ducks right behind the 21 of Rob Banks. Into third he goes. And coming up now towards turn three for the first time, the first possible overtake. And everybody's uh, just for position. Inside. John Nash takes the inside. Rob Banks did a great job looking in his mirrors, giving him the corner. He's going to let his tires come to him and try to take John Nash another time. So that's a Brit versus Scott right there. Oh, yes. Well, actually, they're both Brits, officially. Although the Scotsman would argue with that. Here we go, then. Planes taking off in the background. Ooh. Cars everywhere Outside you look. Outside to inside. And up the inside comes the 21 of Rob Banks. And he does he do it on the Super 7? Yes. Ooh. And I tell you what, it's so good to see him out there racing. They've been having mechanical problems, and I've been seeing his crew members driving up and down the paddock trying to fix something. I didn't get a chance to ask him what it was, but we're paddock next to him, and they were running that thing. It shook me all night long. <laughs> Into turn 10. At the end of the Fangio straight, they come. Starting to build a lead now, Egan. And... Uh, the Lotus 23B pulling away. Ooh, this is going to be a good race, though. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to get my scoring up on my uh, turn 13 and under our camera position. Accelerating out goes the 63A of, uh, of uh, Randall Green in the 23B. Down that back straight into the kink. And it's a very fast couple of turns, this. You only really see it from above, but uh, this is a great angle to look at this corner because you just clip the apex, quite literally, but there's no slowing down through there. No, especially in this class of cars right here, they're going flat out, just trying to not scrub off any speed. Look at Travis Engen just trying to keep his line right there. Travis Engen is one of our most skilled drivers right here, but John Nash has been a longtime champion in our Group 3, and now he's got a Group 3 and a Group 8 Lotus 7. Uh, prepared nearly the same, but then there's Randall Green right there in that Lotus 23B, Group 5. So he'd be third place in Group 5. Here they do. They cross the line again. The uh, gap between Angen, who did a 2.32, is some four seconds already on that first lap over Rob Banks. John Nash third, Ran and Randall Green in fourth place, Cliff Murray fifth, Steve Davison, the former GT champion, in sixth place. And that's a really good opening lap from Travis Engen. That was impressive. Four seconds in total. Really, really good. Anthony Hess going through in 12th place. There's Steven Davison. That aero coupe of the Jaguars has some of the sexiest.